National Group. It's a typical day in the office, you know, with the asset manager, the loan modification department. Uh, we're just going to talk about a couple of workouts that we have going on right now. I uh, just heard, heard uh, our asset manager from here get off the phone and said something to the fact that you had to check with the, the manager and get back to them. So it must mean that you're somewhere with uh, negotiating. Uh, this conversation I just had was uh, in regards to a private investigator in Torrance, California. Um, basically, we're trying to negotiate to get the lowest, the most business for the lowest amount of money. And so, uh, never make a final decision before speaking on football. Okay, good. Do you have, um, do you have one on, um, you can that. We have one, that, another one that we was uh, working out. There was a borrower that uh, was behind 60 days, and we purchased the loan. We got a great discount for it as a second mortgage. Uh, we sent the door, we sent flowers. We always send flowers to our lady borrowers who's in default, try to cheer them up. So that's something we always do. Uh, we sent the door knocker, and then the flowers arrived. Um, we don't want to mention any specific borrower names, but we're actually doing a workout for it now. And we'll get into that. You want to explain that situation? So um, what happened was when we sent, when our the other bank sent the goodbye letter, she got nervous and she called in. So uh, that's always a good scenario when the borrower calls in and shows that they want to keep their home. So uh, we followed up. I sent the email, sent phone calls, and for whatever reason, we lost connection. So we sent the flowers. We uh, we also sent the door knock service, who did a great job with actually video recording. Uh, you get to meet the person. You get to see what her situation was like. From that point on, the, the communication lines have been open, and we've been able to reach a, a workout agreement. It turns out she's been battling, you know, certain medical issues, and and that's what the reason why she got behind her mortgages first and a second. Yeah, so it's not always about money. There's other hardships that the borrower go through. It's just us reaching them and finding out how we can help them. Um, so in this situation, we sent the financials. We did our due diligence with the first. We found out she was behind 60 days. Um, she had both payments, but again, because of the medical things she was going through, she wasn't able to pay it. Since then, she's sent out a check for both payments. Now the first is current. Now it's in the loan mod department with Claudia, uh, the loan mod queen. Um, and just give us a little, so when you first got the package and you got all the documents that was expected, which is, you just let the audience know what a typical document you need for a mod. Um, yeah, well, the, the first thing that I realized when I saw the video from the investigator was that she was injured. So that right there just gave me the confirmation that she was in default because of a real reason, not because, you know, she's underwater or whatever, other, re other reasons some homeowners have. Um, normally when I see that situation, I won't even bother a lot with trying to get a hardship letter or anything because it's obvious on that video that she claimed that she was injured. Um, it's more of just getting basically her pay stubs, bank statements, just to see. Uh, on the bank statements, I'll just see basically, you know, uh, uh, how continuously the income is coming in and how much income is coming in because it's not only about their pay, it's also if they're making it extra cash. Um, also, it gives me the confirmation that they're currently getting pay stubs because sometimes you don't get them, uh, you don't get consecutive pay stubs. So it basically confirms to me that the income is coming in. I don't, I request bank statements mostly because of just to confirm that they have they're not in, in negative in the bank statements. I don't really look much at the principal balance, at the balance of the of the bank statements just because they need savings. They need savings and I'm not gonna go after, you know, getting all the money that's passed due because obviously they couldn't pay for a reason. But at least I need to know if they're able to at least come up with some money up front because of course we have expenses, like you said, flowers. Um, yeah. So we need to cover that. Um, also, taxes. Taxes are also something that I look into, um, and I really just look into taxes mostly to see if there's rental income or if there's, uh, there's like uh, self-employment income or extra income from a husband, um, just to get kind of a big picture of what's been going on for the past couple months with the person. Um, again, it, it's not really, uh, I adjust more the numbers based off of what they have left over every month. If I see that they have over $1,000 and I see, okay, they're over their hardship. 
that explains to me that they went probably through a hardship for a certain time, and then, of course, you know, they're over it, and now they're able to go back into pain. Um, I, I would always like for the homeowner to stay with some surplus because hardships are very unexpected, so it could happen again. Um, and again, it's not a matter of, like Fuquan said, of getting the money. It's not a matter of the money. It's a matter of just building that relationship where the homeowner will feel comfortable coming back and saying, listen, I'm going to go through the struggle, even if it's with the first mortgage. At least let us know and build that relationship with us so that we can always be aware of what's going on. Definitely. Now, when, we, when you have all of the documents to give the audience an ideal situation where I think we had this loan for almost two months, probably. We bought it almost two months ago. We did all our paperwork, um, sending everything out, the rest of the letters, the door knockers, and everything we usually do. Um, and even call the attorneys and realtors just in case we had to go that far. But we were successful again within the first five weeks or four weeks of getting all the documents from the homeowner. Now, when you get all those documents that is requested to do the mod, just give the audience a type of term, time frame you think it would take you to actually put the mod together and get it back to the asset manager to try to work it out with the homeowner. Is it like a 24 to 48 hour process or yeah, it, really it, it depends. Everything? It depends. It depends on uh, the income. I guess it, it fits. It, if it's a, a file that's been behind for a long time and, and they're not in a very high surplus every month, I have to then work out where the payment can be affordable. So that would take a little bit more time, more strategies. I try to always come up with more than one option because if they don't have down payment, I need to at least adjust it where, you know, it doesn't affect us, but it doesn't affect the homeowner also. So it could take anywhere from three business days to five business days. Yeah, and that's important getting the right uh, workout solution for the borrower. So if it's structured right, there's less percentage of them defaulting. Um, you know, it's the same thing with rentals. You can rent at market value, below market value, and keep the tenant. So we kind of use the same strategy. Um, our goal is always to get arrearages um, and then get the payment re going or re uh, reinstatement plan or if we have to work out a discounted payoff piece for cash. We actually do the same thing like the big lenders do, uh, which Claudia have a lot of experience doing the modifications. Um, with those big lenders and knowing all the programs they have so we get a lot a great opportunity to be able to mirror that and kind of offer something tailored to their needs um, that works out for them. So it's a typical day at National Group. We just here with the asset manager and the queen of loan mods. Oh God, we have to get the title for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just talking about how we do, we work out, we have a loan we purchase within 60 days. Probably the, the goal now I, I would say for this loan is once the mod is finished, um, hopefully by the end of today, we can present it to the borrower, maybe this evening, and get some type of agreement and get the, park, the borrower to make their first payment on the 1st of October to get the loan reperformed. So stay tuned, we'll update more videos on different real note cases um, and the workouts from non-performing to performing. See you later. <laughs>